But you need to understand, that's not where the church is. The church is when you and I take the power of the Holy Spirit. We go into the mall. We go into the restaurants. We go into the schools. We go into the parks. We go into the gyms. We, wherever we go, we begin to present the gospel of Jesus Christ. How do you do that? Well, you know, one of the things that I found that's very useful, the Bible says, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. When I see somebody out in the street and I see them sick and I see them having problems, I ask them, would you mind if I pray for you? They didn't try to hold the upper room as the representation of what God was doing. What God did in the upper room, they immediately took to the streets, took to the nations. They began to move. And you know, the power of what was taking place in Acts chapter 2 was so powerful that the Bible says that they began to speak with tongues and nations, languages that people that were there for the Passover and the celebration of the Feast of Pentecost, they heard them preaching in their own nationality and their own tongue. And when they heard the gospel and they heard about repentance and accepting Jesus Christ, do you realize that the same day over 3,000 accepted Jesus Christ and were baptized immediately the same day? Why? Because they didn't try to contain it in a building, the four walls. And you know what? We have done so much to try to make the four walls the most beautiful four walls in America. 